Hi there guys, it's Fresh Toxic Crazy here. Um I'm with my first like sort of art thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys with. Uh this program is called Pixel Art. Um just type in pixelart.com on the Google search or something like that and uh, it'll come up and you get this screen, uh you can edit uh, images, you can put lots of different effects on them, and I'm just gonna be showing you uh I use this for my video thumbnails. Um, and there are three different things when you come onto this. Uh, there are also different pages which I'm not going to go much into. But you can actually get uh, an app for this. You can get it on Google Play Store or the App Store. So that's really cool. Um, now, Open Pixel Art Editor Advance, or this is the Express version which we're going to be using today. Um, and this is the Pixel O Matic, which is like um, for messing around and stuff. So let's go into the Efficient or Express one, as they call it and it should bring up a page like this with a grey canvas at the back and five buttons, a cross button and a little pixel art down here. Um, if you want to open up a, um, a a picture, sorry, then go onto browse images if you've got it saved on your documents. Um, if you want to open a web page, I think that is, you click that and paste the thing. You want to take a picture of yourself Use your webcam if you have one, a collage, I'm not sure what that is, and a mobile is just getting the app, I think. So we're going to browse, and we are going to choose pictures. Let's just bring this over here, actually. Uh, we're going to use this. So let's open that up. As you can see here, um, it brings up this, and uh, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, so you can get the best effect. Uh, and as you can see up here, this is where you choose to zoom in, but that didn't actually work very well. So I'm just going to zoom out for now. Uh, these ones are to zoom in and out, like, I don't know. And as you can see down here, you have your little toolbar. Um, you have Valentine's as it's near Valentine's, and you get these three options, and then you get more options inside them. We'll come to that later. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off by using adjustments. As, as you can see, it's very slick, and you get lots of different options. So first we have focal blur. Um, this uh, zooms in on one part. Let's just show you guys this, actually. As you can see, you have this bit, and if you go over here, it zooms in on that. Go over here, it zooms in on that, and as you can see over here, it's blurred. Uh, so that's pretty good if you want to like edit videos, not edit videos, pictures. Sorry, uh, this I'm not actually sure. I haven't used this yet, um, so I don't know what this does. Oh, here we are. Yeah, so you can click it, and it changes the color. So that's helpful too. So you can make black and white into colored. History brush. Uh, I think you can just paint with that. Doodle, you can just doodle on the image, add another image on top of that, crop the photo, you can resize it, you can rotate this image, uh, whichever you want, auto fix, um, I think that just sharpens up some stuff, colour, uh, you can change a complete different colour, vibrance, uh, I think that's brightness and stuff, contrast, uh, there's also blur, sharpen, denoise, um, I'm not sure what that is, you can actually um, get rid of red eyes on here. Uh, you can whiten the teeth, which is quite helpful. Uh, just touch up the edges and stuff. Airbrush and liquify. I don't know what this does. Uh... Oh, okay, so it makes it like bigger. So you press cancel if you don't want the thing. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The next one is effects. And if we go on to creative, uh, here you go. You have all these different effects. And you can slide along by clicking and then holding. It has lots of different effects, as you can see. If we choose that. Very weird, actually. Um, default, you have soft, and in every one of these main ones, you have little sub ones. So if you click on effect, then you have all these sub ones. So there's lots of different stuff to choose from. Um, so that's the effects part. The overlay, uh, you have paper, retro, smoke, space, tie dye, and all of that stuff. Uh, you also have this HD thing here. I'm not actually sure what this does. And as you can see, you have your all your options here. And if you, if it loads. There you go, and you can choose how much it comes, so you can see it fades out there, fades back in. Um, What else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, we have borders, so you can put a border around here. It's pretty useful, so let's just use this for now. As you can see, if you fade it out, it looks very effective. Uh, The stickers, oh yeah, let's move on to the... Well, you get all of these borders, and then of course inside um, you get little sub borders. Uh, this are stickers. You can stick stuff on. Let's go to the vintage stuff, uh, and you can choose which one they are, and it loads. And then it's really cool actually. So you can put that there, apply that. 
Um, and you can change him, change images with this. It's awesome. But I use this for video thumbnails. And if you haven't seen my uh, avatar, I use this for my avatar. Actually, this guy made it for me. He's called Joe Bins. Go check him out on YouTube. I've got to give him a shout out. Um, I think that's his YouTube. Text. You can have lots of different text. So if you go into text, um, you have lots of different fonts, loads of different fonts actually. Uh, you have all of these as the main ones, as you can see, and then you have different fonts here. Uh, so we're just going to use this, and we're going to put, um, let's play. And if you have seen the thumbnail for this video as well, uh, I used this using this this uh, stuff. So let's cancel that out. So that's the text part. Uh, Valentine's part, because it's coming up to Valentine's, you might want to make a Valentine's card or something. And you can just put that on there. Looks kind of cool. Uh, but that's about it for this one. Um, that's kind of how to use, how to get the grips of um, Pixel R. And if you want to save it, just go on to save, and you can choose, you know, which quality you want. And of course, it's it it's, it takes up more memory if you want HD. That's like that's HD. You can name it what you want, and it will save it. Click save. I think you can choose where it saves to. Actually, yeah, you can choose where it saves to. Let's just bring this over here. Choose where it saves to. I'm just going to click cancel for now. Um, and if you want to start again, just click close and you can start again. So that's it for this video. I hope this you have found this helpful. If you did find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Go check out my other videos. And if you do enjoy them too, um, then give me a subscribe if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, this is my first how-to video. And I've been Fresh Toxic Crazy. Thank you for watching this one. Goodbye.